I just had a great chat today with the Amazon Gorillas. So um, they have a great training program for people wanting to get into Amazon FBA selling. It's online, the link down here. And um, I was just talking to them about the legal aspects of protecting your trademark when you're an Amazon reseller. And you can use an amazing tool called the Amazon Brand Registry. It does a whole bunch of stuff for free, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment. <laughs> So um, they had a few questions and I'll just give you the brief intro and then I'll go into their questions. But I wanted to make sure everyone knew that you need a registered trademark to enroll in the Amazon brand registry. So the Amazon brand registry gives you access to some tools like monitoring of your brand name on the Amazon platform worldwide. Um, it gives you some added functionality with your listings and flexibility. So use of brands, for example, and also photo and video that uh, we can have a link here as well to a detailed article that will provide you with more insight onto what advantages you're getting. You can register one product at a time, but you can register a keyword that links the products like your brand name or a number that will enable Amazon to group the products together. And then they can, uh, they can monitor uh, on a whole, you know, on a whole your product line so that you can get updates. There's also a dashboard that gives you updates on what they found on their systems that's related to your brand as well. And if there's any branding disputes, so you know your brand may be similar to another reseller's brand, it brings rise to a dispute and can be resolved through the Amazon platform as well. Um, so we can also help with that if there's a need for a legal backup. Now, Amazon doesn't want to be an arbiter of the of these disputes, so they, they do go into the legal segment and would be moved out of Amazon if they couldn't be resolved there relatively quickly. So I just wanted to look through the, uh, the list of questions um, and provide you with some info on the detailed aspects of the Amazon brand registry. Basically, um, you need to have branded packaging for your product. So you need to create your brand if you don't already have one. You need to create that brand and put it on the packaging, put it on the products. It can't be the, uh, the original manufacturer's brand because you're not going to be building any brand equity that way. Then when you register for the Amazon brand registry, you need to provide images of the packaging with showing the brand uh, for their records. So you also need a website which has the, the SKU identification number for your product as along with the photos and the description of the product um, on a website. So that is necessary and a lot of Amazon resellers don't actually have a website. You can set one up easily with WordPress. You just have to put in um, maybe a screenshot of the Amazon listing in the WordPress website and that is enough typically for Amazon to verify that you're in fact the uh, the brand owner. You need to let Amazon know also whether it's a word mark or a logo. If it's a logo it has to have words on it so you can't just file a, like a Nike swoosh. It has to have the word say Nike on it. Um, for the design or the word mark, they would have to be the registered trademark. So if you have a registered trademark for the word mark and you're trying to protect the design, you also need to file for a trademark for the design to get protection for both. For the branded packaging, Amazon will probably do a test buy and will take a look at your packaging that you have on the Amazon product. So simply showing it on the photos isn't enough. You'll have to actually uh, have the product branded that way. Yeah, so I really uh, enjoy working with the Amazon uh, Gorillas. They're a great starting point for your FBA um, you know, background so that you're going to be successful right off the bat selling products, unique products on Amazon. And when you start uh, developing your brand equity and you're, you're done with the experiments, you know that that's a product you're going to go forward with, that's a good time to consider a trademark because the process does take six to nine months, sometimes even longer depending on the backlog at the trademark office. And if you get the filing down uh, relatively quickly, then as your sales ramp up, you can have the registered trademark and 
be entered into the Amazon brand registry. That'll help you on Amazon. A registered trademark will also help you with other retailers like Walmart and uh, their online component, Jet.com, as well as Costco and so on. So when you have that, um, that consistent product and you have that registered trademark, the copycats will come out. You do have some tools to stop them. So that's important because brand equity ultimately lets your customers know the level of quality that you're providing them and they come back for a return purchase. So that's, uh, that's good to know. So we'll have the links um, on the final page and thanks for following.